I don't know how dear gates are. But the gates that we're after getting are in fucking great place. Like they're going nowhere, especially with that wire set up. <laughs> some job. And <laughs> some fucking job. Do it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> that was one busy day, wasn't it? Too busy. Lily I'm had a lot of work to do. She was making sure that the big ones didn't kill the small kids in the trampoline and the when they were out ones. playing. Or the big ones didn't kill the big ones. Or middle kill the middles. It's busy. You tired? Yes. Right. You did good though. I had to mind three seven no, two seven one eight year old and it was why are you talking like that? Because I'm tired. Oh, so when you're tired, you lose the energy I've been and the projection all day. power in your vocal cards. I've been shouting all day. <laughs> Super Army soldiers here early. Man, Adam. Adam's getting it done. Uh, rang Adam. He says, Well, Adam, how are you today? He says, Grand, your legs are tired. Says, Why are your legs tired? And he says, I ah, every so often, me and my army friends be. We go kitten stomping. I said, what's, what's kitten stomping? He says, oh, just over a couple of weeks, me and my friends, we collect unwanted kittens, and then on a Sunday, we all put on our army clothes, and we let them off in the room, and we just stomp them all today. And the person who stamps the least amount has to tickle the guy that stamped the most kittens. Ball sack. So, oh, yeah. Uh, fucking rain. Is the only thing putting a downer on me as I look back at my awesome work and think, fuck, I'm brilliant at what I do. But I also want to get home because I have uh, orders to do tonight. And I have, uh, old podcast is back tomorrow. New season starting back tomorrow. One Tomorrow's one is with Louise, McHale and Fiona Chung. It's a great podcast. Uh, especially it's for women you know women can listen to it as well and it's a great take on two very different women in a modern world and how they're um, how they cope with it or don't cope with it anyway you'll figure it out yourselves um, looking forward to hearing it so yeah podcast back tomorrow that's that's cool isn't it isn't that cool no I'm working in Kilkenny and I was looking forward to the few weeks not working up the mountain being able to walk to me van at night time and not worry about getting attacked and killed by deer well everywhere has their issues and Kilkenny's no different last Wednesday evening an old woman came up to me and said oh I need money I said why oh I, my head fell off and I need to get my head put back on and I was there oh, your head fell off I was there, but you're using your head to talk to me she was like yeah my head fell off so I just didn't give her any money and then last Friday evening a uh, man came in on a pogo stick and he said he had phalangitis and he only had six months to live and he wanted to get a few pounds and give it to his family and I didn't believe him, he hopping around on the pogo stick I just told him to fuck off there's two lads out here now as well I don't know what's wrong with them but I'm not an egan, I just won't give it to him You might laugh but the wire system is the latest in technology I in forest security <laughs> the best gay I've ever seen in my life yeah I want to be careful now I could lock myself in if I do I won't be able to get out and get home there ain't no one getting in there it's safe as a house but Kind of morning. I'm very glad that I can hear that purring away. Deep down in my subconscious, I was thinking, did I turn on the night heater? Did I turn it on? Look at this fucking E. Chains, chains. Love this sweater. Is Adam there? Adam was at some fitness thing last night. 
And I just said to him, what do you think of David Goggins? He's an army guy as well. He said, David Goggins a pussy. Has a book called Get Hard or something. And Adam says, you're not a real army man until you get hard as part of a mission parameter and make love to a man. (coughs) The new podcast is up there. And you can listen to it at your leisure on Spotify and it's on YouTube at the Wood from the Trees channel. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Two girls are fair details. I really like their podcast. What's he doing? Oh, he is, yeah. Do you genuinely think you'd bait Shay or Dave Goggins? <laughs> no. What's the worst mission you ever went on? No, honestly. That, honestly, what's the worst mission you ever went on? Get no timber after you. No, he's messing now. <laughs> There's no way getting no timber after me is the worst mission than the time you had to make love to all them men. Did you sign an NDA about that? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Or did you hate it? <laughs> I only found out today that referees have to do fitness tests to make sure that they're able to run. And Adam had tests last night. What was it, a beep test? Yeah. And you won it? I didn't even win it. I just passed it. And got no trophies, no medals, nothing. But... It means he can do senior matches. Is that it? No, just referee at Lens or Mainer and under 20 or something. Hey, would you take bribes now? No. At all? No. So if one of the captains came and slipped you a few pounds, you wouldn't be a bit lenient? Huh? No. No? No. Stop it. That's your army training. Very bad to you. As I couldn't have timed it more perfect if I tried. Your dindons. Okay, so Vicky, just a moment. Me, me and Adam are just having lunch and Adam was just saying because it's International Women's Day he was going to say to Tara that she doesn't have to make dessert or bake any bread today just dinner when he goes home he sounded like that because Adam learned that kind of respect in the army cut off that fucking shite Indie Bubbins and Enda. Enda's fairy tale. Easy now, easy. Easy. Easy now. Easy, easy. Steady, steady, steady. Steady. There's my little baby nephew Dara. He's not going home early. Nope. I'm only going home now. Adam. Ah, sure. It's well for some. I've seen him walking out of wood this evening and he freeze and cold. I said, would you not get a fucking jacket? He never has a jacket on. He says, no, I can't wear any of them jackets. I don't like them. I said, what do you not like about them? I just don't like them. They don't suit me. I said, and what does suit you? He says, a full metal jacket. I'm waiting to get a full metal jacket. I'll wear nothing else. Hello. I've had so much shit going on for the last few weeks I never got a minute to show you the oven right so this is the way they'll be coming now when we get the ones on the machine they come with that little box with a little handle and it's, it's a bit I don't fucking need the handle okay so men men so I ordered it with some cool stuff that might actually come in handy I'll just show you now there she is there she is there's the oven bag that everyone was asking me about. I got this. So you go home at night and you put your leftover dinners, your lasagna. You mightn't think it, that holds a good bit. And then you close it on up and you bring it to work with you. You pop it back in there. 
you plug it in. Sorry, I ran out of time. They are the fucking job. The rubber yolks, so they sit there, they don't move around. They're super yolk. Perfect for your Illuminati, your Stone Cold Cowboy, diggity dig dig, your car if you can get the 24 volt, and your boats. Like, come on. Fucking savage. Savage. So yeah. I get to build me snowman yet. Maybe not today. Maybe not today. But tomorrow. Or tonight maybe. And you'd never know. Huh. Surprise, surprise. 3 7 on the button. Why? Because I'm a professional. Because I'm a professional. Huh? Oh, 3 1 1. It's not broke, don't fix it. I was in the fin station this morning and I could hear people whinging. Oh, it's fair cold, it's fair cold. See, I can be here enjoying the weather. I'm not cold at all. Why? Well, making big bank gear is the best there is. Do I look cold? How would it be cold? And it's all nearly gone. And everyone will be whinging. Oh. I love this letter. I love it. And look, I got a brand new, brand new tape. 2023. 8 meter, 26 foot. Not eight meter and 26 foot, that'd be ridiculous. It's eight meter slash or 26 foot. So that's, I mean, I didn't even ask for it. Uh, the big boss man sent it down to me with a note. It was actually, it's quite endearing. It says, here is the brand new tape you didn't need, but I got it for you anyway. It's a little play on little words that, that I eat my phrase and stuff. You're the best boy in the whole world. I love you more than my son. Jesus. You're by far my favorite brother-in-law. Oh, Jesus Christ. So embarrassing. Can't believe I read this out. Uh, P.S. Adam is a poop face. Sit at the bottom, but don't tell Adam. Oh, that's an iron. There's some amount of stones here. And they're hiding, they're hiding behind. Look at him, look at that lad. And you can't see him. Fuck it anyway. I just worry. What? I worry with the diabetes. You, you could eat that, have a stroke, Listen, shit the bed. Diabetic friendly. <laughs> My worst fear, he didn't have a stroke, but he did shit himself. <laughs> Fucking stinky. That's bad. <laughs> That's how, oh, Adam. Oh, God. God damn it. God damn it. I'm gonna have to see, can the powers that be get me a new pair of gloves to protect my beautiful little soft hands? Because they're fucked. From working so hard, of course. From working so hard. Jesus, I better fill it with diesel quick before she runs out. I wanted to fill it earlier, but it's just busy. I was just busy. You know, it's always kind of rotted the top of me dick a little about the harvester, about the Komatsu harvester. You might think it's an operational thing. The geometry. No, no, love all that. How long it takes to build deal? Why, why such a, why such a small pipe? Why, why, why? Why, why, why? No, track out. It's dangerous, it's treacherous. I don't have to worry about the cold because my clothes are too good, the best there is. And I also have to worry about Kilkenny people because I'm in Kilkenny. Some Kilkenny people, not all, asking me for money, saying, Oh, I'm sick, oh, give me money, give me money. No, have chains, use the goofy chains today. There's a little fairy at home that sharpens them for me. And um, if someone comes up to me and says, Oh, I need money, I'll just get the chain. I swipe him in the face like that. That's what I'll do. That's a fair snowman. Not a goofy looking whore or anything. <laughs> Jane, you are living the dream. Eating apples before you go to bed. I, I like it. I know you like it, but you're supposed to be going to bed. 
And you never gave me a hug when I came home. So that means you don't love me. I don't so you don't love me. I love you. No, you don't. Because you never gave me a hug. Huh. So if you didn't if you didn't hug me, that means you don't love me. <laughs> That's it, I'm gonna sell you. I'll sell you in the shop. Mommy, so sad. Mommy, be sad? Yeah. If I sold you? No. Not if I gave her loads of money. If a man gave me loads of money for you. Right, Mom will go sell you. No. Why? Because. Mommy, so sad are you getting?